roughly 30 to 35 percent of the United States population has a bachelor's degree. So if you earn your bachelor's, you are essentially more educated than 70% of the population. At Cigna, I'm the only person on my team who works out of the Denver office. Everyone else works out of the uh, either Chattanooga office or they are fully remote employees. Every meeting I have is online. Every PowerPoint that I view is online. Every single interaction that I have with my team is online. My real world work experience mimics more of my online education than a brick and mortar classroom. Being able to navigate an online forum in an online world is invaluable. As we move forward, one, the jobs in the future are going to require higher education. Two, the next generation values and understands what higher education will provide them as they begin their college career. The ability to find qualified employees is just so much more difficult than it was even a few years ago. And in some of these fields, we've entered into a poaching economy, which basically means different businesses, whether it's healthcare, financial services, manufacturing, are having to poach these back and forth. Higher education takes those basic fundamentals of knowledge and understanding and teaches you how to think deeply about any given topic. That ability to take basic knowledge and think how it could be different, how whatever you know could be used in different industries, different contexts. It is about enabling people to feed their families and themselves today, but providing them with the higher level critical thinking, innovation skills, and adaptability to be ready for jobs that we don't even know exist today or in companies and technologies that will be there in the future. That is what higher ed's role really is to moving and ensuring American competitiveness into the future.